one minute. Our entrance hymn is number four, 546, Come Ye Thankful People Come. Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Having asked for God's mercy, let us proclaim God's praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, 
Increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lectura del libro del Éxodo Esto dice el Señor a su pueblo No hagas sufrir ni oprimas a los extranjeros porque ustedes fueron extranjeros en Egipto No explotes a las viudas ni a los huérfanos porque si los explotas y ellos claman a mí ciertamente oiré yo su clamor mi ira se encenderá, te mataré a espada, tus mujeres quedarán viudas y tus hijos huérfanos. Cuando prestes dinero a uno de mi pueblo, al pobre que está contigo, no te portes con él como usurero, cargándole intereses. Si tomas en prenda el manto de tu prójimo, devuélvaselo antes de que se ponga el sol, porque no tiene otra cosa con que cubrirse. Su manto es su único cobertor, y si no se lo devuelves, ¿cómo va a dormir? Cuando él clama a mí, yo lo escucharé, porque soy misericordioso. Palabra de Dios, te alabamos, Señor.
so that we may have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God for idols, to serve the living and true God, and to wait a son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Followers, his disciples, 
the Pharisees and the scribes, the Romans, all the people of the earth, us. We are all part of the body of Christ. Jesus was always blessing. He was always acknowledging. He was affirming. And yes, always reminding, like a good parent, a grandparent, an aunt or an uncle, a pastor, always reminding us of who our neighbor is and that it begins with love, a close relationship with God the Father. Each of our scripture passages for today are reminders, God's messages for how we are to recognize those in our lives, our neighbors, who are our families, our community, our nation, and our world. How we are to respond to them, and most importantly, how we are to love them, as Christ loves us. In our Gospel reading from Matthew, we hear the continuing story of what love is not and a clear definition of what love is, God's love. The Pharisees have set out to trick, to discredit Jesus by asking the question, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus catches them off guard by offering two. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Father George Stigma actually offers a third commandment that Jesus presented. That when we love our neighbor as ourself, we must learn to love ourselves in a way that allows us the freedom to serve others. That is nature. Father George says that it is when we understand God's love for us and can respond to God in love that we discover our gifts, our true capacity to love others. God's love is unconditional, forgiving, and transforms us. When we embrace God's love for us, despite all of our doubts, despite our misgivings, we then begin to fully understand what being a child of God is. It is being a child of God that allows for Christ to dwell within us, within our hearts, as Paul told us, and to love others, our neighbors, the stranger we meet today, this week, throughout our lives. I mentioned earlier that I was in a prayerful and a thank you mode. So I would like to share a prayer with you this morning by Father Austin Fleming. It's called, You Are Around Me, Lord. You are all around me, Lord. You are everywhere. Good people, fine people, all around me. Folks who care for others selflessly, with no hint of complaint, no expectations of reward. So many good people, Lord, folks who work behind the scenes, who do the task with grace, who find the greatest joy in giving. Good people, Lord, whose very presence is a gift and makes a difference long after they have gone home. You're all around me, Lord, good people everywhere. And I'm so ever grateful to know them and for all they give and do. So open my heart today, Lord, assist, assist me to be a helper. Open my eyes to those in need and make me a cheerful giver. You are all around me, Lord. You are everywhere and for this, I give you thanks and praise. Amen.
let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, be God to not name, consubstantial with the Father, who do all things remain. For us of heaven for our salvation, he came out of heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess to a baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith and confidence, let us now bring our prayers to the Lord our God. For the church, that we may express our love of God and neighbor in words and deeds, through acts of kindness and compassion, we pray to the Lord. The oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For patient peacemakers and negotiators, for humble leaders who serve the people with fairness, we pray to the Lord. The oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For a deepening of gratitude, that we may recognize all the ways that God has blessed us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees, immigrants, and the homeless, that we may reach out to them, treat them as our sisters and brothers in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Dick Emerson, Betty Schauble, and Maxine Patterson, and comfort for their families and their friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have the coronavirus, and for those who care for them with tenderness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish faith community, that we serve to encourage one another for the hope in Christ's promises and strength to meet the daily challenges of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Your love, O oh God, is boundless. We who were strangers have been made your children. We who were defenseless have been brought into your household. Keep us mindful of your deeds of mercy, that we may love you with our whole heart and love our neighbor as ourselves. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory is number 682, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so of all the angels we praise you, as a joyful celebration we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Come to be prayed that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We will be collecting glass, clean glass jars and bottles for recycling in the church parking lot today until 1 p.m. Please bring them in cardboard boxes and put them in the trailer. Please sign up online to have your picture taken for the parish directory at your home or email Mary Sutherland. Father Steve will also take pictures after the Mass on November 1st if the weather cooperates. Donations for the food drive can be dropped off inside the church entrance during the day, or you can bring them to any of the parking lot passes. The annual Catholic appeal, as a parish, we have reached forty-four thousand dollars of the twenty or of the sixty-eight thousand dollars that we that is our goal. So thank you to everybody who has contributed. If you haven't had a chance to contribute, I please ask you to uh, look at contributing and see if you can help us reach our parish goal. Next Sunday is the Feast of All Saints. Our hope is that we will be back out in the parking lot having a live mass at Village Center uh, Cinemas. Now because it's All Saints Day, we will have some goodies for everybody after Mass, uh, kind of like trick-or-treating. Uh, and I would encourage uh, those who would like to dress up in Halloween costumes, especially costumes of saints, to do so uh, to help us keep a very festive All Saints Day. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And as it ended, let us go in the peace of Christ to serve the Lord and one another. And Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 459, Joyful, Joyful, Be Adored.